about exotic blueprints, guys? Exotic blueprint. So if you go to your uh, left or your right here. Yeah. So these terminals here down in the Hall of Guardians are your exotic blueprint collections. And what an exotic blueprint is, is it's a record of having found one of these exotics in year one or in year two. Yeah. So if you open up that terminal, you'll see the different exotics that you've found and added to your collection. Okay. So every time you find an exotic, uh, the blueprint is added to this collection. Okay. And what these collections are here for is, you know, if you misplace an exotic or, you my know. My dog steps on my dog controller. dog steps on the controller for 10 whole seconds and shards it. My fiance um, thinks I play too much Destiny well, and vengefully, like, you you don't need this. You don't need this not, light beyond nemesis. Let's not get into those, those personal problems. Okay, I'm um, sorry. Right. This, uh, this is a place where you can actually just come back here and pull another one of these out of the vault and, you know, uh, get back what you may have lost. Okay. The I, I like to think of this as like the uh, Star Trek replicators, yeah. right? But instead of ordering hot tea, like you're asking for Plan C, and you get like a new one. Plan C, mm -hmm. hot. Yes. Yeah. The uh, the other useful thing here is if you've got an alt and you just want to get a copy of that thing for an alt character, you can just go to the blueprint kiosk. So these are terminals. account based. Yes, these are all account wide. Okay. So all of the characters I have on one account can access all of the blueprints gained right. across all of those separate adventures. So let's actually talk a little bit about the exotics themselves. So okay. this is Late Beyond Nemesis. One of this my is, favorites. This is year one. Yeah. Uh, it's giving you the perk that lets you revive people faster. Yep. But you know you have to spend a bunch of time and resources sure. like upgrade, leveling this up, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. upgrade. Yeah, it really only Same. becomes valuable until you get here. Yeah, and even then there's still got work to do. Yeah. So in year two, we've actually taken some of the year one exotics, yeah. uh, some favorites, and we've we've upgraded them. We've made them better so that not only can you still get them, but they're improved. So okay. if you so switch over to this page, so here is the. Light Beyond Nemesis version for Destiny the Taken King. This is the yep. year two Light Beyond Nemesis. Now, I see here there are some other engrams here. There are some other exotics for me to chase, yeah, but we, because I already acquired Light Beyond Nemesis. That's right. Because you have the blueprint. Gonna, you're yeah. just going to give it to me. Yeah, so any of the year one exotics that you have found, uh, any of those that are available in year two mm -hmm. are available right here on the the, uh, the blueprint. So I go and it I does some It does cost some legendary marks. Yeah, I own some legendary Let's drill marks. in and you'll see why. Okay. So these are improved not only in level, but uh, the exotic armor, we've taken the signature perk yeah. and we've moved it on to intrinsic. So. so the keeper of the pack, the thing that lets me revive my friends faster, the reason I got the helmet, the yep. reason why I upgraded that helmet after I got it, that's active now. That's as soon as I acquire right the helmet, the thing that made it great is already live. Yep, you can okay. you can try these exotics out much more easily now. And when you level them up, uh, they start at high, the max power, yeah. just like they did in House of Wolves. So we're really trying to make it so that when you get an exotic, you know, you can just use it yeah. and just enjoy it right away. Well, and then you've got some new ways to upgrade it. I'm not just making it more powerful. I'm adding new talents to this helmet. Yeah, so there's new talents available on a lot of these exotics. Uh, so this one, for example, is Inverse Shadow here. And right down below it is a new perk that increases the super energy you gain when you're getting heavy weapon kills. Yeah. So And so like I'm cool. I'm excited about this for my, you know, for weapons as well because I, I have the bad juju exotic uh, bounty quest right now and haven't finished it yet. Um, but I'm almost there. I'm going to finish it probably in the next couple of weeks. Okay. And you know, cuz I work at Bungie, I know that a level 40 bad juju is coming out in September. Um, and so I'm going to have immediate access to be able to get that thing. You know, yeah. And I'm, I'm finally going to be able to actually use it because I haven't, I haven't earned it yet. But I'm, once I earn it, I'm going to have the blueprint and I'm going to be able to buy that level 40 version. And so I'm already spending my you know, legendary marks in my head. Like that's the, one of the first things that I'm going to chase. Yeah. yeah, so. Can I go I'm, in here? Yeah. Can I, let's, can I, let's, I, let's go in there. So uh, we didn't want it to be the case that if you found something in year one, yeah. that you had to go and find it again in year two. So that's, yeah. why, that's why the blueprints give you access to the updated versions mm -hmm. of any of the year one items. But you're only bringing some of those exotics forward. Yeah, only some of them are coming forward right now. Right and now, okay. But any exotic that we bring forward, yeah. there will be the updated versions okay. available here in the blueprints. So you can see my collection here. I, I earned Truth. Uh, I zerned Gallerhorn along with lots of people. Maybe we'll give you stats in the Bungie Weekly Update. Uh, never really took a stab at Dragon's Breath, but I do love my heavies. so. You know, if you're uh, if you're more of a completionist than me, you can come in here and and gaze upon your treasures, yep. and uh, and then buy back a new version of those. If at such a time, you know, I say, you know what, I want to give Universal Remote a second chance, or yep. uh, you know, 
I remember uh, back in the day, you know, like Soros regime, mm -hmm. you know, at the launch of Destiny, first Iron Banner, Soros regime was an absolute terror. It was the thorn of its day. And then, you know, it got adjusted, but with the 2.0 weapon update, mm -hmm. auto rifles are coming back in a big way. So I always loved Soros. So, well, let's look at the updated version of Soros. Okay. Along with, again, here are all of these missing engrams, all yep. of these new things to chase, all of these, just, you know, imagine, if you will, all of these year two exotic weapons, you know, what's going to be the next Red Death, what's going to be the next Gallarhorn, what's going to be the next Thorn or Last Word, and I got the Soros regime. So the Soros regime here updated, uh, it's different, uh, it's tweaked just a little bit so yeah. that it follows what the rest of the Soros Foundry weapons do. Um, and for example, in this case, you can choose between these first two Fires perks. even fast. That's awesome. Because yep. I actually liked Soros before I upgraded it and it you know, was given a slower rate of fire. Mm. So I can make it fire faster. Yep, and then... Gives me my health back. Yep. I can make it more accurate. That's awesome. Yeah, and check this out. It's back in black. That is sexy. It's like Darth Vader's Ferrari right there. I want it. I want it. And I don't have to go out, and I don't have to worry about it dropping. I don't have to wait for Zer to sell it to me. That's right. It's here. I have the upgraded blueprint. I'm grandfathered in. This is where I'm going to be spending my first legendary marks. Yep. If you found it in year one, we want to make sure that you have it in year two. Cool. Could you just go back in there for a second? Like, I sure. noticed something um, that we didn't talk about earlier, uh, that the attack values on the year one weapons mm -hmm. has changed. Okay. Like if you look at Suros, his 160 here. Well, yeah. Tyson, can you, yeah, can so you talk about that? We, we, took the, we took all the values on the, the attack values and the defense values, and we, we brought them all in line with each other so that you can look at a 160 weapon and compare it to a 160 helmet and sort of know that you're dealing with the same quality of item. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually we use the current value that people have on their armor, uh, their light value, which is about 168. And that's sort of where we, we set our midpoint, and then we balanced everything around that. So people actually haven't lost any effectiveness. Oh, like, sir, you know, it's, it, whatever you can kill with Suros on September hits. 14th, hits just as hard on September 15th. Yeah, it's just math. Like, the numbers guns, have just changed. Your yeah. guns hit just as hard, and your armor is just as good at protecting you. So, yeah. It's like we switched over to the metric system. Yes. Okay. The superior <laughs> system, in fact. The superior, well, okay, the superior metric system.